Can we just start off by talking about how you came across the project, how you started on it, and obviously... I uh, I came across it because people, there have been some whispers of people talking about doing a movie about Hank Williams like seven years ago, and sort of I thought about, well, if anybody's going to do a movie about Hank Williams, it ought to be me. Mm. So I just sort of took the bull by the horns and decided that I would be the person to do that, and I sat down and wrote a script. Mm. Um, I was always a fan of country music. Yeah. Uh, I'm a fan of great writers. Hank Williams was a profoundly important and great writer. Uh, his poetry influenced generations of people to this day that you're listening to right now because they were lyrics that were very real and they weren't just, you know, some of them were kind of ditties, but a lot of it was really, you know, intense stuff. So I was really interested in that. I've also was fascinated by the short lifespan and the condensed intensity and how bright that light sh you know, shone on his life. And I love stories about men and women. I, I just think the interpersonal relationships between men and women, whether it's, it can be, for that movie with Charlotte Rampling in 45 years that I happened to have thought was some great performance with Tom Courtney, to just, you know, uh, what happens when you have people very, very young thrown together in this and trying to make relationships work under that spotlight. Yeah. Those were the things that I kind of were the key elements to me of the film. Absolutely, and obviously you've, you've produced quite a lot of films in your time. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. M many films, in fact. Yes. So what, uh, this Don't only, hold that against me. No, 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 I'm quite no. the opposite. Um, this is obviously only your second feature as director. Yeah. So what made you want to direct this one as opposed to, say, many of the others you've come across during your time? Well, it was just this, people ask me how I became a movie producer, and I used to say bad luck. So, I mean, I started as a writer, and it was a sports writer, actually, and started writing some television and all. And then it was a strange situation where I thought I was going to write and direct, and then I got on this producing thing, and it started going along very well. And before I knew it, a lot of time had passed without me writing anything. And... But always in the back of my head, I was writing. I was writing things. I have, I have voluminous journals. I'd written a couple of screenplays. But right in front of me was these producing gigs, and I had gotten this reputation as a producer. So, and one day I just thought, I, what, you know, I've got to get back to what I really wanted to do. So, like seven years ago, I decided to talk. There was a, a small, crazy idea that I, a guy invented the intermittent windshield wiper, Flash of Genius, and I loved that story. So I directed that. A couple of other producing things, I already had obligations, and they take a time. And as soon as those obligations were done, I just jumped back into doing this, and which is all I want to do at this point. I don't really want to. If I produce something, it's going to be something I wrote okay. or directed, and hopefully, you know, both. And excellent. I'm always sort of uh, envious of people that sort of have uh, the, the full creative uh, drive behind a film, like the writing and the directing and the producing. What's it like balancing all of those different jobs on a film? Like well, that? it's not that, you know, as a producer, it wasn't very hard for me having done it so much. The thing about it is, is that, you know, I, I love telling stories, and at a certain point, the I, listen, be a movie director, greatest job in the world. I, if you ha interview a guy who directs a movie and bitches or moans or complains, you should just leave because it's a great job. You have 200 some odd people with you that are there to help you realize some vision. Your most, the, the smallest idea that you have, they're willing to, to, to dive in and kill for it. I love being part of a team. I love part, being part, especially being able to be the lead the team. It became quite frustrating for me as a producer sometimes if I work with a director who was doing something, may have been doing it well, but it wasn't the way I wanted to do it. But that was, you know, wasn't my job. Um, it's a great job. I love doing it. And for me, I, I can't do it. You know, I miss it. I always said it's it's really hard directing. Every day you're just in a, a state of constant anxiety. You can't sleep. You go into bed thinking, "Oh, I'm shite. It's I did a terrible job. It's going to be I'm going to be embarrassed. I'm going to be publicly humiliated." But it's still I say, every day as hard as it was. I always said to everybody, "Remember, this is as good as it's going to get." Absolutely. Cuz you get it out there and it's out of your control. But that day, that moment, everybody pouring everything they can into it. I love that. 
Okay, cool. And let's go back to the film. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's That's okay, (laughs) no problem. Obviously, Tom Hilderson plays the the lead character of of Mike in the film. Now, he's not really the obvious choice to play play that role. That's Um, an understatement, right? He is excellent, by the way. Thank you. And and I loved his performance in it. But how did he become uh, involved in the project? I happened to notice him in another play where I thought he looked a lot like Hank. And from that, I did my research and push forward to sound and learn more and more about him. The more I learned about him as an artist and as an actor, the more I became sort of convinced. And honestly, I can't even tell you why I was so convinced. There was just something about his personality and the conversations we had. We Skyped, then we met in person, that I just was convinced that someone like, that he was the right guy. And he was convinced he could do it, which is also very comforting because if you have somebody as smart as Hiddleston who is really, really concerned about making right decisions and he thinks he can do it, that just sort of creates a combustible feeling between the two of you that this might be the right choice. And, yeah, a lot of people went after me in the States. It was like, like, why can't he be a Southerner? And I was like, that's crap. You know, like people, who cares where he's from? The real question is how good is he? And I just challenge anybody to see, to give, name me an actor that could have done this any better or as well as Tom does in the movie. You know, I just think he's remarkable. Fantastic. Well, I so, love the film. Congratulations. Thank you I so much. Well. Thank, Thank you. you. I do too.